Hello and welcome to this year's first episode of CPTV. I'm Jake Supchak. And I'm Jack Pernicky. On CPTV, we cover news, stories, and events happening at Craven Prep. We're going to start off the show with some upcoming news and events. Thanksgiving break will start the 21st and end on the 25th. The 29th of November will be an 8.35 late start, with the Pancake Man paying a visit to the Commons. December 1st will be the Freshman Christmas Dance. Now let's get to our feature stories. Nick Garrett dives into one of the most unique clubs at prep, the Zoology Club. The Zoology Club started about five years ago with the introduction of a couple of snakes. It's biology in action. You know, I'm used to, you know, growing up in a farm town, being around a lot of animals, you know, hunting and trapping, and so it's just an interest I've always had. Well, there's, there's all varieties. There's a lot of amphibians, reptiles, fish, um, mammals, the hedgehog. Um, I like them all. Probably the ones that are most, none of them are really dangerous, but probably the ones that are most aggressive are the king snakes. Yes, the king snake has bitten me uh, twice, and it's bitten a couple other people. Um, it doesn't hurt, it just kind of stings a little bit, but that's about the extent of it. Well, they just keep bringing, they've been working on the fish tank mostly. Um, they're working on a vivarium for a frog habitat. Saltwater tank, they have an eel in there, but they're going to build off of that and put some more things in there. So those are the most current projects. Well, that's the main thing is it's interactive, and it's interactive with, again, with real things. Um, it's, o it's open to the students, community period, after school, five days a week. Um, so it's pretty uh, accessible to any student. When I first shadowed here, my cousin was a part of the zoology club, so uh, when I shadowed, he took me up here and I just loved the environment. I loved seeing all the animals. I've always been a big animal guy. So, uh, my favorite animal right now is probably the hedgehog. Uh, I've always wanted to get a hedgehog. It's been something I've always loved. Well, so last year it was very difficult for us because we had so many and we had maybe a core four or five people who'd come in to, like, that actually take care of the animals. So, I mean, we have over 20 animals here. So. Just, yeah. just trying to take care of them all was hard, but this year luckily we have more people, so it's not as hard. I'd say it's a lot, it's a lot more laid back club. We don't have like people say, you have to take care of this animal. We just, you know, ask if you can do it. Uh, everyone's open to holding any animal at their own risk. Just, uh, I'd say the best way to do it is you learn a lot about the animals you take care of. Like, if if you would have told me that you know, Jimmy here. His, uh, he's a gopher snake, but he's actually a cousin to the bull snake. I never would have believed you just because bull snakes are known to be very aggressive and he's very, very docile. To anybody from ninth grade all the way to seniors who have an interest in animals and taking care of animals, you have to have kind of a serious outlook and take, a, take it um, serious to more of an academic uh, pr uh, procedure than it is a play procedure. Next, Ethan Busso and Tony Melitti interviewed star center Akola Rope and talked to him about his process of committing to the Huskers. I guess right when I visited the school, um, my official visit was back in um, September, and um, they really showed me a lot uh, throughout the campus. They had all the equipment and um, the right, right, I felt like it was the right fit for me. And um, the scoring wise, to practice my faith, um, it just everything it just felt good when I went there. Back in July was when they, officially reached out to me is when Miles called me. It was like the middle of July. I got an offer from them, yeah. A big role, you know, they um, they helped me through this process, um, you know, just taking my time, taking visits where schools that I wanted to um, see the opp different opportunities, which was really good, so. Um, my coaches, they were a really big part of my recruitment because they were, they were all behind me. They, they were talking about like how um, um, go to where, what place best fits you, you know, so. Um, I guess just being, I'm looking up to them and playing basketball, I guess that was a big role for me, you know, kind of wanted to be like them, like my older brother's a guac, um, he was he was a really good player. He had gotten an offer from Nebraska, but later decommitted, but he kind of played a big role. I was really, really close to him because um, he was he was close to my age, so, you know, he's always, he always pushed me to be, um, to do good, so I guess that's what I wanted to do. Um, in a lot of ways, when I came in, you know, I couldn't really shoot or dribble that much, um, but they've developed me um, really well. Um, like, I've been, I can shoot, I can shoot pretty good. My ball has gotten better. Uh, there's a couple of things I still need to work on, but um, 
just being the player I am this is without prep, I don't think I'll be. Yeah, like, so during last season, you know, you could have kind of kind of saw me in the um, post a lot, post a lot, and um, a little bit outside the perimeter. I shot, shot a couple threes, but like during the off season, I worked on that, my outside game, my dribbling, my shooting, and that really impacted me a lot in the summer. That's where I got like all these offers and then landed the one from Nebraska, which was a really big role. Um, they kind of want me to play like a stretch four and like a th and um, hopefully into uh, the three, the three player. Yeah. Um, a lot of effort in um, stepping up for us, me as a senior and the other guys too. And um, that's that plays a big role. We have a whole new team, so we lost about like seven seniors last year. And one of our guards, Jalen, was a junior, but he had moved to Connecticut. And um, I guess one of the senior guards, Robert uh, Peters, has to really step up this year, you know, show up to the game because. Um, I guess we're a lot of us. All of us are counting on him to do to take that role. My first offer was last year, and um, after my first junior high school game, um, UNO had offered me. The day. I guess I was in fourth grade when I started playing basketball. I don't know what age, but um, it was one of my friends who asked me to play with his team, and I just tried, and I did, and I fell in love with the game. So, for the last story of this show, Grant Morrissey and I were men on the street. We ask students and faculty everyday abbreviations and what they stand for. Alright, so do you know what NASA stands for? Um, National Aeronautics... Uh, National... Oh National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Okay. All right. What does ATM stand for? ATM, mm -hmm. uh, automated teller machine. Okay, I see you. All right, I see you. Okay. All right, what does DJ mean? DJ? Yeah. Oh, that's like, oh, that, that's when you turn dance. up. Yeah, that's when you turn up. Dance something. Disc jockey. All right, I didn't know that one. All, right. All right, Mrs. Evans, what does AM stand for? Morning. <laughs> 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 anti meridium. How about um, anti meridium? Oh. How about PM? <laughs> Nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What does CD mean? Compact disc. Well, what does DJ mean? Honestly, I don't know that either. Disc jockey. Do you at least know what CEO means? Nope. Chief executive officer. Over oh, three. Nice job, Jack. Thank. Bay stand for. Excuse me. Bay. Bay? Oh, before anyone else. Right? Yeah, you got it. Uh, what does GIF stand for? Ooh, um, ooh, graphic information file. Interchange. Mm. Interchange format. Okay. And um, it's GIF. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what does CD mean? Okay. What does DVD mean? Alright, awesome. Do you know what DJ means? Spectacular. Perfect. Thank you. Three for three. What does uh, NASA stand for? Uh, National, National Space, Space Ad Advent Admin Ad Adventure Administration. Yeah, that's pretty close. Oh Alright, what does what does Bay mean? Bay? Yeah. Like, like B A E. B yeah, B A E. Yeah, oh, like that means your boo, like. That's what, no, what do the letters stand for? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I know it's a Danish word for poop. That's all I know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. You guys, so you guys don't know? I don't no, know. Before don't know. anyone else. Oh, that does make sense. Yeah. So do you know what DJ means? Disc jockey? Yeah, it does. Do you know what GIF stands for? Oh. Yeah, that's not um, right. Well, we can... Um, I don't. I, graphics do interchange format. Oh, man. Um, I never knew that. What about CD? Yeah. Compact disc. Um, yeah. Do you, you know, know what bay stands for? Um, so oh. if you want to be here at I don't. before anyone else. So oh. Thanks for watching the first episode of CPTV. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel and see you guys next time.